गाइस यू आर वाचिंग आर कैबिचु एस्पेशली फॉर यंग इनोवेटिव माइंड्स सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन न्यू सिलेबस ऑफ नेटा एंड आल्सो डिटेल्ड डिस्कशंस ऑन दोस क्वेश्चंस सो आई वोंट से दैट दीस क्वेश्चंस विल स्ट्रिक्टली कम फॉर नेटा बट इट्स दे आर द प्रोबेबल क्वेश्चंस और Sometimes you may understand some of the basic concepts of design principles while going through these questions. I have only prepared some of the questions which may be asked. So as I say in every video I am again saying that you can extend the questions by simply going on searching in the Google for famous paintings famous paintings which use design principles etc so if you have not subscribed yet in the youtube channel do subscribe this is the first question and in this question they ask us which of the design principle is used and first option is emphasis by contrast second option is emphasis by proportion and third option is emphasis by spacing and d is none of this so here we can see that actually a duck's size will be very very small with respect to a man but in this figure observer's eye is directly you know directly is uh, focused on the duck not the man so in this design in this artwork artists use proportion in order to focus on something so actually this picture is of emphasis but this emphasis is given by exaggerating a proportion and the next question is which of the design principle is used in this painting first one is balance second one is emphasis third one is rhythm and fourth one is movement in this figure we can actually cancel out two of the options rhythm and movement and the next two are balance and emphasis we can see any balance in this figure but yes we can see emphasis when we are giving this picture for a contest of title making everybody most of them will write a title of wounded lady or wounded bride or wounded girl or something like that because we are actually focused to the part where the lady's hand bleeds uh, so the red color contrasts with the white color and this gives a emphasis for an emphasis for the red color or the wound and the third question is which of the color scheme is used in the painting third and fourth question ask the same and the options are complementary color scheme second analogous third monochromatic and fourth is none of this here the red contrasts with the green color in the background and green fruits contrast with the red table so contrast uh, is made by using complementary color scheme and the next question is again based on the you know basic definition of contrast here the contrast is given by varying tones light tone with dark tone and which of the design principle is used here here the design principle is used um, design principle used is emphasis but this emphasis is bring out by the concept of empty space and complex space so this empty space projects from all those complex backgrounds so our observer 
uh, our eye is directly directed towards the girl's face and this is also a figure which is based upon emphasis and in this figure emphasis is brought out by using lighter tones with dark black background so that skeleton is clearly visible for our eyes and the next painting is this and the answer for this question will be harmony because we can strictly say that this figure uses unity or this figure only uses analogous colors and this figure only uses variety because it is a mix mix up of both unity and variety which brings us a harmony so this harmony is a design concept which uses both unity and variety this green tones and the blue tones gives us a unity whereas the yellow pink purple flowers and leaves gives us a variety so this harmony is a design concept used by many modern artists and the next question asks us about the color scheme the color scheme used in this particular beautiful painting is analogous color scheme here various tints and shades of green and a slightly closer color blue blue green are mixed up to give a wonderful painting so the color scheme used here is analogous color scheme we can also use uh, analogous color scheme of blue and purple etc in order to create a sense of waterfall etc so but this in this particular figure they are using greens and blues and all those uh, shades of blue and green the next is a question regarding a building so what is the design principle used in this building first one is moment second one is rhythm third one is contrast fourth one is none of this here actually we can see a rhythm in the pattern used in this building and also we have a contrast of colors shades of black and white and also we have a moment effect so actually these are the probable questions which can be asked because most of the options will be going with the question but we should strictly say specifically stick upon one of the option so here the most correct option is moment due to the curves in the building and the next question asks about which of the design element is used here design element mostly used in this figure is proportion we can see a close proportion between the lady sitting in a chair and boy sitting on a table top their proportion makes a different and the proportion of a shelf and chair proportion of a paper placed on the shelf and the shelf and proportion between the guitar and the woman playing the guitar so if any of this thing changes uh, the painting mostly look like a hypothetical painting like if we can see a girl on top of the shelf very small it will be like alice in wonderland okay the next figure shows us the concept of harmony 
yeah here in this figure also various blues and greens will give us a unity but all those bright colors in between and the black and white gives us a variety like feeling so this is a figure which closely represents the design principle harmony more than all those analogous color scheme or uh that movement or rhythm or direction more than that it's the harmony used in this particular pleasing and appealing painting and the next is a painting and it asks us which of the design principle is used here here the thing used is pattern and repetition we can see a pattern of the triangles and the squares and also repetition of some of the figures and the next one is a beautiful composition and beautiful painting and without looking the options we can see that this is giving an uh, effect of movement all those waves of the ocean and the force of the ocean water and the smoke created or not smoke but that white color shows the how forcefully the water comes and hits the rocks that strikes the rocks so all those things creates a moment effect and the next question is about which of the design principle is used and in this figure unity is the design principle used and also in this figure the same unity is used and the next question is about balance and unbalance is this composition balanced or unbalanced for these type of questions we need to make a central axis in our imagination central line which uh, you know which separates two spaces and we should check if these are balanced based upon visual weights so here we can say that the rock and the sand weight balances with the old background of sea and the next question is based upon the uh, medium of painting used so here the medium of painting is not acrylic or watercolor or texture painting the medium used is oil paint okay so these are actually difficult questions but we can uh, be smart at looking the painting and to decide which among the medium is used by going through some of the examples in net okay you can search for uh, various paintings by using oil paint by using acrylic by using pastels and by using uh, watercolors and when we go through them we will be smart at deciding our answer and the next question us again Uh, is this balanced or unbalanced this is balanced because the small dark color portion of the skirt and the wall will balance with the dark color portion and a small space okay this vast wall will balance with the dark body of the woman okay and uh, that's all with the video so thank you guys for watching and do subscribe share and comment below so in this also i used a contrasting color of violet and yellow thank you